The last thing we're going to do in lab one is to create some mailing labels. We need a new document, so just click new document up here. Go back to mailings. Under start mail merge, we're going to do labels. You'll have to pick the label, and I've already looked for mine. So you want to, under the vendors, go down to Avery A4 slash A5. And the one that seems to work okay is the number 3425. Click OK. So that sets them up, as you can see. We need to select our recipients, and we're going to use an existing list, the one that we just created. So you'll have to go find where you saved it. Chapter 5, this is lab 1. Each one's going to have an address block, and we want the name like that, so just click OK. So you're going to put the address block on each one of these labels. And I believe we had five records in that one. Of course, if you had quite a few records, you would just continue to add them to be sure to cover whatever you've got. So be sure you have the address block on each one. We'll go to preview results. And for some reason I didn't get my first one. Well, let's go back and see why I didn't get my first one. I got my address block. I'll continue to put address blocks on a few more to be sure that I get them and then preview the results and I do have my five. You will save this document and put it in your Dropbox. So that'll be your third for lab one. If you look at your instructions in the book, we are not going to do number eight through eleven. We're just going to stop with this. So that would be the end of your lab one exercise.